You're watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2018 in Barcelona. And I'm joined now by Germain Lamond, who is Executive Chairman of Expo. Germain, thanks for talking with Telecom TV. Now, Expo has been very active recently in terms of acquisitions. What exactly has happened and how does this shape your overall strategy for the telecoms market? Excellent question, Guy. Um, we've done massive transformation in the last 18 months uh, for strategic acquisitions, really transforming the business and how Expo is positioned in the marketplace to really become the, uh, the most relevant um, major league player when it comes to building a, the proper platform for search assurance, uh, visualization, and automation in a context of networks becoming hybrid, physical and virtual, but in the same vein, getting ready truly for what will be, uh, you know, IoT, 5G, uh, you know, NAV and SDN, and the massive cloud uh, cloud infrastructure we're already building. So Expo is really putting an engineering, basically, the solutions in the back of this to be the one player, the one-stop shop to make that happen. Same vein, we are vendor independent. That means we can work with any network operator and we'll give them basically the actual reality of the network, regardless of who are the system vendors being involved. And that's what Expo has been tooling for. Four great acquisitions, and very, very pleased with what we've done in the last 18 months, and Expo has gotten stronger than ever before. You mentioned four acquisitions, what are they? Well, first of all, started with 18 months ago, the acquisition of Absolute Analysis from uh, Southern California, uh, taking, bringing to us uh, RF over CPRI test capability, which is uh, a best-in-class solution. We build that now into a system to monitor and be able to get discovery of all the interference problems you may have in a network. The second big acquisition for us, a real transformation, is Ontology from London. Uh, Ontology brings to Expo a, a very unique and um, a, a incredible te technology that has to do about a total discovery of all the network topologies. And from network topology, we can also discover you know, the full service chain. What are, the, what are the elements required for a service to be delivered? And when it comes to automated root cause analysis, it is absolutely pivotal. We've acquired Yenista from Lannion in the north of France, but we're just closing now. It's a very big time for us. It's a, our biggest acquisition ever, a company called Astelia, uh, partially been based in Rennes, France, and also in Valencia, Spain where we're adding basically about 400 people with an incredible capability on the passive side, massive customer base, and basically extremely complementary organization. Estelia has around 120 uh, customers of systems, and Expo between its active systems and cover monitoring and so on, we're going to get collectively a huge base of 250 established customers from the systems point of view, massive scale from, from, from a, a, a revenue side, uh, customer base, but also all complementary technologies to create this new unified platform that is so unbelievable in the marketplace. What are the key market drivers in telecoms now, and how is Expo addressing them? There's a number of key trends in the market. Some of them are wireless related, some are not, but amongst the big trend is the, the demand for more bandwidth is not going to stop tomorrow. So the demand for more fiber everywhere into the network, we call it fiber deep, going deep into the access network for residential areas, going deep into you know, the wireless segments for more antennas, smaller cells, and so on, and going you know, wider also when it comes to uh, build fiber into data centers so we can create this massive infrastructure. It's one of the very big trends in the marketplace. Another very big trend as well will be the ability to, to drive the networks increasingly virtualized so that we can get more efficiency and more productivity out of the investments of the operators and more flexibility. And Expo is really at the forefront of all of these transformations. What are some of the challenges that are thrown up by the move towards virtualization and how do you help operators with their product integration? One of the biggest issue with virtualization is how can we really assure quality of experience and visualization of the network, the services, and the user experience. It is a very complex matter, especially in a network that's going to have to, to scale up and be also a hybrid network for as long, for, for many, many years to go. Of course, networks will have a physical portion to them as well as a 
virtualized for a very portion to them for a long, long time to come. And eventually, if you really want to track services from one end to the other, from the north of Europe to the south, you know, and calls and services and videos and so on will all be going from virtualized to physical to virtualized and so on. Quality of experience, to be assured, will actually be a tremendous challenge. And Expo is amongst the very first in the industry that really has a solution to, to bring that visualization. And what would you say are some of the complexities around service assurance? The, the big complexity with service assurance is the combination of being able to do all the services in a massive scale and in a hybrid environment. And um, then you've got to be de dealing with uh, topologies that will be evolving on the fly. So the, your ability to instrument the network so that you can actually have the read at the split second for the services that you're delivering at this very moment is very, very complex and is really demanding basically engineering of SIS Assurance and analytics platform to really bring this automation. So another very big, big issue for the industry is how are we going to drive automation? Because the, the whole nature of the telecom industry is reducing costs to get more productivity. Automation will be how we can deploy services, how we can actually manage all the, you know, the network on a dynamic basis to make sure that it really adapts to market requirements. And that is really a challenge that Expo is really contributing to. We've been talking about network transformation for a number of years now. Do you feel that the move towards virtualization is going slower than we originally thought? In which case, what is holding operators back? Well, you know, the, the virtualization of the network has been highly discussed for the last five years. It's a five year since the first, um, you know, the white papers and blueprints and the first investments were done or the first thoughts were done around this. And it's, it's taking time, it's taking time. Networks today globally are not like not even 1% virtualized today, but it's really going to happen. It is, it is going to take time. Uh, many, many issues. Of course, network operators have got to assure that they can actually deploy and operate properly. Scaling and making sure that it supports the ability in the long run to deliver the capacity that is required with the quality of experience that consumers have come to expect. So that alone is actually a huge challenge that X4 is contributing to fix. I will say in the same vein, the, while the architectures are being defined, the solutions are being built, um, operators have got to be, to be working more in consortiums and it will not anymore be the game of one or two. Uh, there's a lot of changes to be done within the networks to ensure that virtualization really take place. So I will say, generally speaking, one of the top issues is the telecom operators have underestimated the, what's required to assure huge, you know, the real quality of experience that is absolutely mission critical for such deployments. This is MWC and of course 5G is everywhere. What is Expo doing to help operators on their journey towards realizing 5G? In fact, Expo is extremely involved today, and we've been involved for the last several few years already, in helping operators to get ready for what will be the first deployments of 5G. First of all, the whole, the whole notion of, of 5G is really all about uh, IoT and virtualization, because really at the end of the day, we're talking IoT for a lot of new applications, going from connected cars to connected watches to connected everything. So, one of the big parameters that will be very critical there will be how can we assure that the timestamps, that the basically the latency, the jitter, and all these parameters are really up, up to specs, up to expectations. So Expo has got the most advanced active assurance solution in the industry, and we're working with the biggest operators. We have the, the biggest deployment in the world running today that's capturing and testing every little segment of you know, a tier one network operator in America, one of the top two operators in America, and we're, we've demonstrated and we've shown in, in practice, we can actually help them to assure that the next stage of IoT and 5G preparation, today the infrastructure they're putting in, in place is ready for it, so that's one thing. The second thing we're also doing is working in the blueprints with our customers, helping them to get ready with the first phases of 5G deployment. The first phases will have to do with um, you know, uh, fixed broadband. 
Expo is the, le is the leader in private to the home deployment, uh, in a lot of activity into broadband deployment to residential areas. So we can really back them up with our experience uh, that is actually in excess of 250 different telecom operators on a global scale. So Expo's got scale in that segment. And finally, what might we expect to hear from Expo in the coming months? What you can expect uh, from, from Expo is the continuation of our strategy to become you know, the major league player with the, 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 the perfect platform going from service assurance, visualization, and automation of the whole service chain within the, the, the telecom segment. As operators are getting ready to transform for 5G and IoT and so on, this whole network transformation takes place and Expo is one of the very few that's got the scale, the technology and the capacity, thanks to our recent acquisitions of Ontology of um, Ninastelia and our recent uh, you know, um, uh, solution that we have, uh, Skyrun, that is really designed to help build this visualization, to help build the networks of the future. Jermaine, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, Guy.